Hi, uh, it's Jordy, my boys, back again with another ADV narration. As we see a big fat spoiler uh, as I have to start up this recording, as we see two, two Pokemon dead, nice Doc a bit too late in on the action. We see that the it boomed immediately goes off, obviously boom is super broken. Uh, that crit might have mattered, I don't know if that's a roll, uh, I never know, but since Ojama just clicked boom turn one on the Skarmory very confidently, I assume it's not a roll, otherwise I don't know if you would have risked that. Ojama obviously does not want spikes, I'm just is willing to sacrifice his uh, Metagross. Now, I assume this, uh, oh, he just actually just pulls it back into Blizz. He does not want to risk the TTR taking damage. As the Pert comes out right here, this Pert, uh, is, yeah, this Pert, I think, has to switch out. Because uh, he doesn't want to get poisoned, obviously. Uh, he can switch out into nothing revealed yet. Metagross would be one of the switches to Blissey. Obviously, that boy's dead as fuck. As he, okay, he tries to go for Focus Punch with, <laughs> he's going focus punch swamper but he gets s tossed on by uh, zf from team northeast as ojama is from team france big france so we see uh zf as we see we also see these nicknames i cannot fuck with this this hera per zap fucking meta this is some stupid things thing these frenchmen do unfuckwithable but zf makes some powerful predictions s tosses and then toxics i guess s was a safe place scouting for focus punch per although the set is not common at all but yeah i guess s toss was just a yeah, just a fine play in case another steal from Ojama would come out in the back. But instead, Heracross does come out. Unless it's Heracross's rest, Heracross is just going to get worn down eventually. ZF is just going to have to find his switch in. He'll, he'll probably have something outside of the Heracross. But, oh, outside of the, uh, outside of the, uh, what's it called? Skarmory. But this is also the reason Ojama wants to remove the Skarmory turn one. Just for this Heracross. As I have a moth flying into my face in my room. I don't know how the fuck these bugs are getting in. But it, this is unfuckwittable. I just, I cannot tolerate this. Might have to whip out the, uh, the, uh, I don't know. I don't know what, I, I can't, I can't fight these bugs. Dude. These bugs are way too strong. <laughs> Back in on the action. We also see a very strong bug. We see Megahorn doing uh, 66 to the Aerodactyl. That has to be Bandit Heracross. Big, fast, strong Bandit Heracross. And that actually, isn't that dual resisted? That's crazy. Wait, no, Rock doesn't resist bug. <laughs> Dude, I have Mega Ultra Downs, or does it? I don't know. Dude, I don't even know what game we're playing right now. Is this like Digimon or something? I do not have knowledge of this game. But we see that Ojama can just go into Pert pretty easily here. ZF might pull a crazy double here. Yeah, if he has something that covers Pert and also is a bug resist. I mean, nobody switches. Nobody stays in with their Hera when it's... Yeah, I mean, Porygon Z actually comes in. To deal with this, Double Edge comes out, doesn't do too much to Porygon Z because Porygon Z is a fat boy. He's forced to recover up right here. ZF can go into nothing really. I guess he can go into Blissey and force his back out, go for an S-Toss, chip away at the Heracross. That could be a thing because this Porygon 2 has already traced Rockhead. He cannot get Natural Cure, so it has to be scared of the poison. While Blissey obviously does have Natural Cure, this big fat blob can just take any status the Porygon 2 wants, any attack the Porygon 2 wants to throw at it, and just dip with it. Instead, ZF goes into the Magneton, which is an interesting play. Uh, this can obviously just beat the shit one on one, especially if it is metal sound. Now, if this is HP Grass Magneton, the God said he can he can just fire off HP Grass, or uh, did I say HP Ground on accident? I don't know if it's that HP Ground, but I mean HP Grass, the God said. Uh, if he goes into the Swampert here, that can get smacked by HP Grass as a shitload. Uh, I think Ojama. Nah, I mean, I was gonna say I think Ojama can go into. Uh, he can't go into Zapdos, I guess, to scout, but Zapdos doesn't like T bolts, so especially not if it's Magnet Magneton, the God said. So this P2 can go for a recover to scout what it wants to do, but I think uh, if this is like some offensive Magneton, it actually does over half. I mean, P2 doesn't want to get chipped because he still needs P2 to be able to switch into the Aerodactyl. Although he also has a Pert to switch into Aerodactyl, so I don't know. I guess he can recover to scout, but he can also just make a safe play into Pert, although it's not that safe because of HP Grass. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just repeating the same things over and over, I feel. But he goes into Zapdos to scout, indeed, as the Toxic does come out. So Toxic was a really fire play right there. Toxic Magneton putting in the work. Ojama can really combat that. He could have obviously gone Heracross to scout for Toxic, but Heracross doesn't appreciate the T-Bolt at all. And Heracross is one of the answers to Blissey, so we don't want that just dying immediately. Now, if the Zapdos is rest, this is no problem at all. If the Zapdos is not rest, it's just going to be a huge pain in the ass for Zapdos. Because now it can't really switch into... I mean, it wasn't really switching into anything anyway. So that's why uh, just pivoting to Zap was a fine play. Now, P2 can obviously switch into the Blissey. Gets that Natural Cure activated. This Blissey's poison, so it's going to get beat one-on-one -on -one eventually. Um, there's no real... I mean, there is a P2 switch in the, into the Magneton. As the double gets pulled out into Pert. Very nice play. There is no singular switch in on ZF side to the Pert. As the own Pert comes out, this is not Toxic Pert on um, Ajama's side because he's already revealed Focus Punch. If he's Focus Punch Toxic, he gets the medal and he deserves to win 100%. So it's pretty obvious that he is not. Now, uh, the EQ does come out, doesn't do shit to the uh, Pert from ZF. If ZF wants to like reliably beat the opposing Pert, if he has Toxic, that would be very nice. Ojama just risks that shit and pumps off a hard pump. 
He's already probably Toxic Blissey. Uh, I don't know. Have we seen? Yeah, he is Toxic Blissey plus Toxic Magneton as it is also Toxic Pertz. So yeah, that's nice triple Toxic Core, but the Toxic goes to the side. So does the Hydro Pump, but I think the Toxic matters more because now Ajama gets some knowledge out of that. Pump wouldn't have Pump would have done damage, but it wouldn't have done too much. Surf comes out from ZF's Pertz. Does a fair amount, especially with the poisons because Zap is not recovering shit. It's actually just taking damage because of the Zat's Sandstorm too. That's the freest, freest switch into Blissey. Toxic comes out. Porygon 2 can come out. But in all of these trades, Zap is just getting chipped. ZF is in a really, really, really good position at the moment. The last one from Ajama definitely has to be a breaker that can actually do something. Because otherwise he's just fucked. This Heracross is getting chipped. The Zapdos is getting chipped. ZF is definitely in a huge favorable position right here. Although, obviously, there's another bug in my- Can these bugs- I'm trying to record, buddy. <laughs> Fucking bugs. I don't even know what I'm talking about this. Uh, as Ojama tries to make a power play and go for the uh, focus punch. But instead, he gets caught and gets S-tossed upon. So now ZF can just stay in an S-toss again. This is really, really bad. I mean, he can't really because he's poisoned. I think ZF kind of has to switch here. This is actually a fat 50-50 between focus punching and have to stay in. Because he, if he if he just attacks the Heracross, then he's going to take so much for the poison. I think he's going to be at a little bit of- HP and it can't even check anything anymore. But if you switch it out, anything can die to the focus punch. So does ZF want to just sack something and just throw out like the Aerodactyl just because it gets walled by things? But then if he throws out the Aerodactyl, Ojama can be a bit more reckless with the uh, with the Swampert and with the Porygon. So I don't know, very hard turn, very hard 50-50 for ZF to pull as Ojama pulls the oh, Ojama goes for the focus punch as the as the soft wheel comes out anticipating the switch. Ojama with a powerful, powerful maneuver right there. So yeah, uh, I thought ZF just caught him there with the uh, with the seismic toss, but yeah, he got put in a really really bad spot. So good plays by Ojama right there, ending up and end, ends up killing the Blissey. Now the Zapdos might be a threat, although I mean it isn't really because there's a big big Magneton just lurking, especially if it's like rest toxic disgusting set because ZF's team is a bit fatter. It does obviously have the Aerodactyl, but outside of that, it's a it's a pretty fat team. Nice Scarm Bliss Core as well as Magneton, which can be a really fat Pokemon. And Pert, which is yeah, especially with uh, with that nice tech combination, I mean tech <laughs> tech lefties combination, it's gonna stay healthy. It's gonna be fat. It's gonna be thick. It can just stall this out for a bit. Goes for the T bolt immediately. Now ZF does not have a reason not to just pull it back into the Magneton. Uh, Ojama doubles into Pert. Good play. Can't really accomplish anything because ZF can just go back into his own Toxic Pert that beats this one on one always. I don't think Ojama like has a w way to win this from like <laughs> from where he's at right now. Um, this is just kind of going to be like a stalemate between all these Pokemon just switching in on each other until ZF finally gets in a breaker and just starts going. As uh, ZF just decides to stay hard in and go for the Toxic on Pert, I guess predicting a double maybe, but I mean, I guess this is a favorable position sort of, but losing the Magneton actually really sucks because now he might be weak to Zapdos if it's HP Grass, but not too weak because Zapdos is already really chipped. And unless it's like Rest, HP Grass, uh, ZF is still in a fine, fine position to be honest. So, I mean, I guess that trade might have been worth it. I think just pulling it back to Swampert and making that play a bit later might have been a bit of a better play. I mean, I can't really judge. <laughs> I guess the play was fine. But yeah, he can go into the P2 right now, eat that shit up for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This P2 can get poisoned, though, by the Toxic, so definitely has to be afraid of that. He can he can't trace I I, I actually said he can I mean he can't trace the natural cure from Blissey anymore so there's no way he's getting that poison off unless he's like like what rest P2 aka fat unset his rest recover double recovery I don't even know what I'm saying so Swampert so goes with the protect right there as the toxic comes off from Ojama's P2 so he could have he could have actually gone for this toxic earlier uh, on the turn he recovered and then recover on the next turn. I think that might have been a bit better because he would have gotten off the Toxic. But this P2 is actually a huge, huge threat, although it is poison right now. But it's still a huge threat. You can be able to Toxic anything. But since it is poison and chipped a little, it can't even switch into Aerodactyl anymore. He trades uh, some HP to get the Toxic off. Now, yeah, he's uh, Dockerage hovers over the next damage thing. The next damage is going to be 24, as if he recovers, he's not going to be able to do shit. Like, is that if just fire us off a Surf here? Ojama's in a bad spot. I guess he can recover for this one time. Just because he doesn't really lose HP and the Swampert's gonna lose 12 HP, uh, and if he's and if ZF switches in is a good, he is in a fairly decent spot. His P2 still is relatively healthy. Now, if this is Pursuit, which I guess it can be, because it's like Estos Toxic Blissey that doesn't like Gengar. The entire team actually doesn't really love Gengar too much. I mean, I I guess it's kind of fine, but yeah, if this is Pursuit Tar, that would definitely be cool for his team. 
This can also be a DD tar to be a secondary breaker, but if it does have pursuit, is basically what I'm trying to say. And if it just pursuits the P2 here, that would be a complete king play. I uh, just yeah, that would be just complete complete beastly play. If he has HP grass, if he's like some nasty HP grass special or mixed set, I mean. What am I saying? Special or makes you definitely want that rock stab. So if it's just a mixed set with the HP grass, if he goes for the HP grass and the per here, that's gonna be a very very nasty play. As it is the DD tar, as the toxic holy shit Ojama really is the greatest to ever do it, dude. Imagine he just toxic predicting the DD. P2 is almost dead here. Now he should just stay in. Yep, he just stays in on the other DD. Get some ice beam chip off. That actually does it quite a lot. Now we can just go back into the swampert. Swampert's gonna eat any attack. Uh, at least I think. Yeah, it's, it's still at full, right? Yeah, yeah, it's at full, so he's gonna slurp this shit up for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. EQ is gonna kill in return. So, what very well played by Ojama, really good prediction, predicting the DD tar, which does make sense, but now there is one big, really big threat, and that's the Aerodactyl. So, I assume he definitely, I, like, if his last isn't a mon that can eat an Aerodactyl hit, I don't know what he was doing, but yeah, the last is a T tar. So, very well played by Ojama here. Now, if Ojama has a move to hit the Pert, this is gonna be really good. Although the Pert is poisoned, right? So. Um, that's that, like he, it's still pretty good because it's just gonna be a pert stillmate, and this Tarantar can actually this is kind of it's kind of sketchy. If he has the pursuit, he can obviously pursue and trap the Aerodactyl right here, and then win the Swampert War. Like that's pretty obvious. That's like that's like the play. I guess he could be pursuit. I don't know. I think DD also makes sense on a team like this because he only. I mean, he actually has double ban, so he actually has some breakers right there. Plus, none of his mods are really that. I mean, yeah, because some of his mods are kind of passive, but he has a toxic on deck as well. So he is HP grass. <laughs> holy shit, what a play, dude. He HP grass. I mean, I'm, I'm saying holy shit, what a play, but that was like the most standard play. <laughs> I don't know why I'm going wild. Because uh, no way Aerodactyl was staying. And if you have HP grass, you click it there. But what I'm basically trying to say is that I'm really hyped. This side is super, super fire. So it's just going to be able to molest this. And he just snatches up the game unless he misses all hydros. And the CGR just falls over and wants to EQ from Aerodactyl. So very well played by Ojama. The, that end game was like <laughs> that hanging was like, that hanging was crazy um like that eq play on the magaton definitely made a huge difference just removing the magaton although the zapdos didn't have that big of an impact but just removing a pokemon is always nice and also that those plays versus dd um did you think yeah so there's no crit so he can just finish him off with the rock slide but those plays versus dd Tar actually have still have me shook to this moment so ojama really is the kingpin the really is the greatest to ever do it as always if i said some dumb shit in the video and you're you've even made it this far so you haven't cringed as much that you clicked away feel free to leave it in the comments below if i said some dumb shit i will definitely fix it uh i will leave a comment below if i notice some dumb shit that i said in this video and i'm a new video so i probably will if you have watched this video up until the very end you must have kind of liked it like at least a little bit so uh, feel free to leave a like down below it is free it's completely black screen right now because that's the power <laughs> but uh feel free to leave a like below subscribe to dockridge and if you don't like any uploads at all like i said in my previous video just go to subscribe to me there will be nothing in your sub box nothing polluting your sub box uh like once a week one video will polluting will be polluting your sub box so i mean like why not right so yeah <laughs>